Here's my prediction of what happens next on DeepSeq, on NVIDIA, on this whole situation where we have a massively efficient model disrupting the market. Number one, I expect as a strategic play, DeepSeq to attempt to bring free, very close to copy products to market across the entire open AI product surface area. And I don't say close to copy because I'm saying they're just copying everything they do and they, all they can do is copycat. This is an innovative team. They brought efficient things to market. I say copy because their deliberate strategy is to displace the market share that OpenAI has established with consumers and developers. That's the play. Also with developers versus Anthropic because Sonnet is absolutely threatened by coding with DeepSeek. So, the play is bring operator to market, an operator clone, whatever DeepSeek has that is like operator. The play is bring a voice clone to market where you have like advanced mo voice mode. And these are all, by the way, going to be free. And because they are free, there are going to be millions of people who try something like operator for the first time, not with OpenAI, but with DeepSeek. That is brilliant. They are absolutely burning cash to do stuff like this, and it is worth it to them if they can gain market share back. They're going to release a video tool, probably something that is designed to compete with Sora. That may take them a little bit longer, but I guarantee you they're working on it. So they're going to go across the whole product suite. It will be relentless. And now that the media has a narrative that deep seek driving releases means bad things for American companies, there will just be this constant drip of news about it. And DeepSeek is smart. They will keep that constant drip of news going. It helps them to gain mind share. It helps them to gain market share. Okay, so what happens to NVIDIA? What happens to the other players? They will keep spending on chips. And you know why? Because of game theory. And that's not just me saying that, by the way. If you think, oh, Nate is sitting here saying, oh, it's game theory. No. Mark Zuckerberg has said, I think about game theory all the time with AI. It's not just me. And Mark Zuckerberg, by the way, has a lot more billions than I do to spend on this. Mark Zuckerberg announced 60 to $65 billion in net AI investment for this year. His goal is to have an autonomous software engineer. He's building a data center that is half the size of Manhattan. All of that was announced after DeepSeek. Do you think he didn't know about it? He did know about it. And the fact that he has apparently, reportedly, four different continuously running war rooms to go after like what Deep Seek did and, did and how to bring it into Llama, that's fine. That's just Zuck in founder mode. He'll figure it out. He's not going to spend less. And the reason why he won't spend less is very, very simple. The prize value that these companies ascribe to artificial general intelligence and after that artificial super intelligence is so high, they will pay anything just to be in the game. So it is rational to spend more and more and more so that you stay in the game because all of your competitors are spending more. What happens if you are the person who says, ah, Deep Seek lets me spend less and you wind back your investment from $60 billion to $20 billion, and your competitors, even one of them, says, I'm taking the other side of that bet. I'm going to spend more, and they win. Catastrophic for that company. Meta is immediately out of the AI race. They lose out on, from the CEO's perspective, potentially trillions of dollars in gains. They will not risk that kind of disaster. They will spend more to make sure they are in the game. They will overspend to make sure they are in the game. And NVIDIA will continue to benefit. And if you think only American CEOs are playing game theory, I have, a, I have news for you. There is a reason that China has announced a $128 billion package for AI. If they really just trained this entire model on $5.5 million, You'd think, why would they invest another $128 billion or $38 billion, the numbers vary, on AI? Well, because they also want to be in the game and they will spend a lot to get there. It's pretty simple. And so I think game theory has not gone away. 
The advantages of artificial general intelligence have not gone away, and the incentives all of these players face have not gone away. And neither has the strategy that DeepSeek has to gain market share. And it's a great strategy, by the way. And so I would expect that we are going to see more DeepSeek releases very soon. I expect them to be free. I expect them to be eye-opening and pretty good. And I think they're going to put pressure on the business models that especially OpenAI has adopted, where they're able to go to consumers and get mass payments from consumers. I don't know if that is sustainable, if DeepSeek is willing to just give them free compute for a while. Someone's subsidizing that compute, but they're giving it away for free for now to gain market share, and it is working. So we're going to have to see. We're going to have to see. What do you think is going to happen next?